What's up guys, it's your boy Reese Boy back with another video. Cody's is Cody is back. I don't I hope I'm not copying someone else's name for their water bottle because I don't want to get sued. <laughs> not that they would sue me over a water bottle, that would be so stupid. But anyways, I'm drinking Crystal Light Blueberry. So good. And I still have raspberry left, but I love I think blueberry is now my favorite. Guys, what it tastes no, great. Guys. What it tastes like, raspberry's the other one. Um, like raspberry's this one, raspberry. Um, guys, the grape almost tastes like, I don't know if you guys ever had it, but when I grew up in Ohio, we had this, we call it soda. No, we call it pop, you guys call it soda, we call it pop. We grew up on a pop called grape soda, and it was only a quarter out of the quarter machine. They had orange, they had lemon lime, they had, they had Samira Mist, they didn't have 7-Up. They didn't have all the fancy stuff. They had like the knockoff brands that Aldi sold in a, in, a, in a soda machine and it was called Grape Soda. Oh my God, this Crystal Light tastes just like Grape Soda, but the good thing is I'm not getting all the calories and I'm not getting all the sugar. That soda just turns to sugar in your body anyways and makes you gain weight and gives you diabetes. So I'm not getting any of that because I don't know what crystallite has in it. I think they're saying it has aspartame or whatever. Not aspartame, but it has like something like a substitute of sugar, like some fake stuff like tibia or splenda or something, but it has no sugar in it. So it says zero sugar. I can show you right now. It says zero sugar. If you guys can see that where my finger is, it says zero sugar and zero fat, 15 grams of sodium, but I don't know. I guess that's okay. But they told me when I left Celebration that I could drink all the Crystal Light that I wanted. So that's what I've been doing since we're almost into three months since surgery. I can't believe that, guys. But guys, I want to tell you something that was very, very educational for me actually yesterday. And I've done this before. For people who don't know, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spill a little tea on Reese Boy or Matt, whatever you want to call me, or Max. Your boy used to go to AA. AAA classes um, here in Florida. It was about, it was about, it was about a few years ago. I went through something dramatic. I really want to share it with you guys, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. Like, I just, I don't know. Like, I want to share it with you guys so bad, but I feel like, I feel like it's not the right time, and I still feel like it might chase, it's not gonna chase anybody away, but it's like, it's being very vulnerable. It's being really like, totally like, you guys would know everything about me. You guys would know what's happened to me in my past and understand like, I think I should have done it before I even did my surgery. So you guys could have understand and, and been really more proud of me of falling through with it because it's something that really changed my life. And it's happened to me a few times, um, not a few times, a lot of times, but um, I don't know. I gotta see if anyone else has talked about it first before I say anything, because I don't know the new, like before, like 2015, 2016, 20, no, even 2014. People could say whatever they wanted on YouTube. There was no guidelines. But since stuff has happened and people have done stuff and things have happened, Facebook has had to get really, like, buckle down and start making rules and stuff to protect. And I totally understand why they want to protect children. I get that 100% because stuff is happening. But the people who want to be completely honest with their viewers, it's hard for us because it's like, is this on the guideline? Like, that's my only issue with that. Because I don't want to get a red flag. I don't want any issue. I don't want to get any mark. Because I think you get, what, three strikes and you're off YouTube? Um, well, not really, technically. But, I mean, yeah. But I'm not as big as some of these people who should have been gone a long time ago. But anyways, that's besides the point. So anyways, a long time ago, guys, like 20, 2013, 2014, I went to a AA class. I would go every Wednesday night. Um, when I was in, there was people who were alcoholics, food disorders, um, 
different addictions. They all had different addictions. And they were older than me. They were like in their 40s, their 50s. They were a lot older than me. I was the youngest person. No, there was another girl. Her name was Kelly or Caitlin or something. She was really, 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 really pretty. And she had a food disorder too. But she was, the way that she did her makeup, the way that she did her hair, the outfit, she was really pretty. But she was in like some serious relationship already. So there was like no way that we could have hooked up. But I really, she was, she was older than me actually because I was like 24, 20, somewhere around there. I don't know. But she was like 20, no, she was like 30 already. So I didn't care about the age because I, it was still a legal aid. But I just broke up with my girlfriend for like a week before and I was like, I'm not going to jump into a relationship. But this was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because we were back and forth for seven years. So it wasn't like a done, done thing yet. But anyways, getting back to what I'm saying, because I've talked to you guys about that. I went to another class last night for me because I felt like I needed to just be around other people and my friend wanted to go with me so i went with my friend and she was like she wanted to go because she has drug addiction so i went with her as her supported person and i was like okay <clears throat> but i didn't really i spoke a little bit i just said because you know they go around the circle you have to tell them what you're here for what your addiction is blah 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 blah, blah. but i kind of like ended up they wanted me to share my journey and tell them what I've been through and what's happened to me and how I've overcome my addiction, my food addiction. Um, but it really opened my eyes to my little stuff is not, I mean, a food addiction is bad, but like people are going through a lot of stuff and it just made me realize like I was so proud of, and these are young people. I mean, these are like 17 year old, 18 year old, 19 year old. And then she's like my age, but like there's, it's a mixture. Everyone's, it's like at a church. So it's like a group. And so it's not just, it's like different age groups. Like there was a lady who was like 50. There was like a kid who was like, you know, 18 or something. So it's a mixture of people, but it's an AA class. That's what they call it. And it's for any type of addictions. And just to listen to these different people tell their stories and understand like, where they're coming from was like so amazing because it was like wow like you're not alone you're not by yourself like you might think you might be so far into your addiction and not even know that there are other people who are dealing with it too that are supposedly think that they're by themselves too but there's like hundreds and thousands of people who deal with lots of addictions and there's weird addictions and then there's normal addictions and I was like really proud of myself and it made me realize that like I think I want to do my own type of not AAA but like just to talk about any type of stuff that's happened in your life and just have a safe place so I actually asked the church if they would let me do a class it's just a little bit different just a little bit different to talk about people who have dealt with you guys I mean you guys all know what I want to talk about abuse neglected all that different stuff um, people who were adopted, who were adopted into the wrong family, people who were not adopted, who have to grow up in the system. Like, um, there's just a lot that I want to do to help people. And I know I'll get there soon. Like, I 100% know I'll be there soon. I think that I just need to have patience. And I think that I'm trying to, I need to work on myself first and get myself stronger. I'm already strong, 100% strong. Because uh, to do that surgery, you have to be very strong. You have to be very disciplined and you have to be really focused. I mean, nine months of being focused and not cheating at all was so hard for somebody that just came off of eating chips and soda and pizza and hamburgers and french fries to just give that all up cold turkey like nothing even happened. Like it was the plague or something. Like I should not use that word. Like it was some type of disease. Um... But I just, I got so emotional when we left because I was just like, wow, like this was just me a few years ago with like addiction, feeling stuck, feeling like there was no way out. Like it just, it was so, it was so amazing just to see how far I've came and just to understand like what God has done for me and to see how family and friends and people who have stayed close to me and you guys have kept me accountable for what I have to do. And just to see, like, I just get I just get sad when I see other people that are struggling who don't know how to ask for help. 
just kills me. And especially the younger generation who is like, they're just scared to say like anything. And it's so sad because it's like, there's so many people who would help you if you would just ask. And I remember I was watching a famous YouTuber. I'm not going to use their name. And they were going through some stuff and it broke my heart. And I so wanted to say something, but I was like, nah, it's not my place to say anything. But it so broke my heart. Literally watching their videos and listening to them cry and cry and cry. But the, the part that made me so proud of the person was they took the power away from the person that hurt them by posting that video. And they were helping other people. And they're like... You, you never would have took it like that. You would have been like, well, why are they posting this? But then you have to think at the end of the day, when someone posts a video on YouTube, right? You don't know who it's going to touch. You don't know who it's going to help. It might not feel like that when you're posting it. You're like, oh my God, why did I put this out there? But then when you read the comments and it's like, oh my God, I thought I was the only one going through this. And the person's like, they understand and they can relate to your story. It's like amazing. And I love stories like that. And that person is now completely happy, made their decision, cut off the people who were hurting them and is living their life happy. They might still hurt because the people that they missed. But at the end of the day, it's like, was it your health or was it to stay in a situation that was volatile and bad for you and abusive for, towards you? Like that to me is just amazing. So I'm proud of people who use their platform for good. But I'm proud of people like my video yesterday, and I really don't want to touch on it. I'm proud of myself for speaking out about what I believe in and being honest and truthful. And you guys will probably get a lot of videos like that from me. I know maybe I shouldn't put all my, but I feel like if you speak about it and you talk about it and you get it out instead of holding it in, you won't get sick, you won't get an aneurysm, you won't have a stroke, you won't have a heart attack. Instead of holding it in and then exploding one time, and I only, I only touched the surface of how I truly feel. I mean, I didn't go in deep. I wanted to go in deep, but I was just like, it's not the time or the day. But I just touched the surface. But anyways, if you and a lot of people like videos like that. If you guys want me to do more videos like that, almost like a rant, then I will do it. But I'm like, I don't want my channel to be always attacking people. But I wasn't really attacking anybody. I was just speaking from my heart how I felt because I get attacked on a daily space, daily basis on social media. Um, not so much like I did before when I was overweight, like super overweight, I'm still overweight, but you know, but I just wanna help people. Like I so badly wanna help people. That's all I wanna do. So it was really cool going in that AAA class and just having fun and being there to listen to people's stories and support people. I thought that that was really cool, so. But I love you guys so much for watching. Have an awesome Thursday. And happy Valentine's Day is early. But I'm posting tomorrow too, guys. So have an awesome Thursday. And I'll talk to y'all tomorrow with Jama probably. So I love y'all. Bye. Peace. That wasn't really peace. This is peace. Bye.